strings. The string variable is also an array in which each character has its own index, even a space. It means that we can manipulate strings in the same way as an array, that is, include search, delete or change something in the string itself. In this lesson, we will analyze all the functionality of interacting with strings. I'll create a string variable. All functions that allow you to manipulate the string we can find in the Utilities tab. There are a lot of them here. Let's go through them quickly. Append allows you to append information to the end of string. Everything about build string also adds information to the end of the string, only of the type given in brackets. Contains searches for the specified character or word in a string and at the end outputs the boolean variable true or false. Let's check if the string 1 has the character m. And at the end, the boolean variable is converted to a string variable. Despite the fact that we have the letter m in the string, and through substring we were looking for a small m, in the end we got true since at the moment the contains function doesn't care about the size of the letters. If we check the use case checkbox, then the contains functions will react to the size of characters, which is called uppercase in programming. As we can see now, it outputs false. Ok, move on. Call array is a static function, so it doesn't work very well in Blueprint. This function takes an array of string and removes the zero length value. Starts with looks for a specified suffix at the beginning of the string and returns true at the end if it exists. And with also looks for the specified suffix but only at the end of the string. Let's look at an example. Is there a suffix my at the beginning of the line? As you can see, it finds this suffix, because it's not sensitive to uppercase. Now it couldn't find. We can ignore large characters by choosing the appropriate option in the search case. Ignore case or case sensitive. Let's search at the end of the string. If we specify case sensitivity, we have a capital letter at the beginning here. Change the string and now it should indicate false. Equal like compares two strings and if they are identical, it outputs the corresponding boolean value. Find substring finds in the string keywords that you specify. Get character array from the string outputs all characters contained in the string as an array. Get character as number get a single character from the string. Get substring outputs the specified suffix. Start index is like from what position in the string to display characters and length is the number of characters to output. Return value actually displays what we specified. Is numeric checks if the string contains digits and shows true if the string contains only digits. If it contains both number and symbols, it will be false. Join string array takes an array and appends at the end of its each element a string that you will connect to the separator input. The array contains five strings, and it turns out that the composite elements from the array will be appended to the end of our string. Next are the left manipulation. 
They allow you to display or remove a certain number of characters that you specify on the left side of the string. Len outputs the number of characters in a string as an integer variable. Make a literal string actually create a literal string. Matches wildcard searches for a string at the end and gives a boolean variable true or false. But to perform a search, you need to put asterisks around the edges of the suffix. Mid outputs a character from the middle of the string. Here it's indicated from which character and how many characters to output. Under the first index we have the character Y, so only the Y will be displayed. Not equal compares two strings with each other, and if they are not equal, returns true. Pass into array creates an array from a string whose elements are the suffix of the string. And a suffix can be specified in the delimiter input, which, if it exists in the string, will be excluded from the array. As you can see, we have three words in the string. Let's output it as an array. I'll use the for each loop to output data from the array. Let's say we want to remove the word shrink. Print string is an executive node that outputs service text in the upper left corner of the screen. Expand the node and string. Here's the message that will be displayed on the screen. Print to screen. Print a log. Next, color of message. Duration is the delay of the message on the screen. The default is 2 seconds. I usually set it to 99 so it doesn't disappear quickly. The size and font can be changed because this really makes no sense. This is just a service node for displaying service information. Replace changes the string data to data you specify, and at the end it will output as a changed string. And the right manipulation is exactly the same as left, only from the right side of the line. Reverse outputs a string backwards. Manipulation with the right side of the string. Let's look at each function. In the string variable 1, we have the right function, which shows the last characters in the string. Let's output the last three characters from it. Right chop cuts the specified number of characters from the left side of the string, leaving only the right side. Let's cut 2. It turns out now that st will be cut off and the ring will remain. Right pad adds the specified number of spaces on the right side, but before writing the number of indents, you need to add the number of characters in the line to the required number on the right. Let's say we have six characters in a line and we want to indent five on the right. I will give an example on a similar note only for the left side of the line. It will be more clear on it. If we just specify 6, then no indentation will occur. Let's say I want to make 10 indents on the left. I add another 10 to 6 and it turns out 16. 
And as you see, the inscription has shifted to the right by 10 in 10s, by 10 spaces. Select string allows you to select one or two strings using a Boolean variable. Split to split a string. Next come the converters. They convert the string into a specified variable type. So lower converts the uppercase letters in the string to lowercase. To upper converts small characters into uppercase. As you can see, capital letters become small. And vice versa. Trim. The first remove spaces at the beginning of a line and the second remove spaces at the end of a line. Well, that's it. We've covered all the possible interactions with strings.